Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to more Xeno Gears. All right, so when we last left off, crap, I forgot to do this. Myself, Faye, and Bot have fallen down into a stalactite cave. This is sand. I'm just checking my bestiary here to see what all is going to drop what. Oh, it drops extra armor. That's a good thing, but it still is a thing. And a fixed robo. How much HP does a tin robo have? Not a whole lot. You know, I think I might be just going there. I'm going to hear a foot. I'm going to fix bot. Drop anything. Mayfly. Looks like AR plus one, that's nice. Do sword. That's a mica. What the fuck is a mica? And then just flat robo. Which is not listed. Now listen, game. Or strange guy. Useless piece of junk. Alright. So. Let's see. So, there's not really much in the way of equipment around here. Oh, the Nomad Repair Bot will repair us. Ah, the Medusa. Ow! Well, oh, good, you're hitting Bart. He's got health to spare. You're freaking weak. But he got through it. I would apologize for the uh, uh, air conditioner in the background. It, it has to stay on. It's, it's too freaking hot. Isn't that right, Speedy Cat? So I'm gonna hit Sooth. I wish I could zoom the camera out a bit, but... I'm just about to burn this room. So yeah, we'll just use heavy attacks to take our crap. Selling, that's all that thing's for. My senses detect what appears to be a huge cave on the other side of here. If we could only do something about this boulder, but I doubt we could just smash it to pieces. I guess we could try pushing it. Wait, no matter how you look at it. Come here and help, stupid. What the heck are you doing? Hurry up and help! I need 
to adjust my Bart voice a bit. Yahoo! Well, we can get by if we help each other. Let's keep it up so we can get out of here. The hydromechanic pipe for my knee joint is on the verge of breaking down. It's all because of that fall from the ceiling. Followed by pushing this mega colossal boulder. It won't be funny if my gear malfunctions in a huge cavern like this. Your friends won't come and help us? It'd be a waste of time waiting. They probably won't come. But aren't they your friends? We believe in a liberal upbringing. They'll think we can escape by ourselves. I wonder if Doc is okay. Don't worry about the man you were with. I'm sure our guy saved him by now. What is it? We wouldn't have fallen in here if you'd only listened to me. Don't blame it on me! You should have surrendered instead of challenging me. All I wanted was your gear. Don't be ridiculous. You're the one who blindly attacked me. What else was I supposed to do? I thought I might die if I didn't fight you. I was taking it easy on you, couldn't you tell? And you're a bit dense. Don't lie to me. I know you were serious. What? You want some? Let's have it out right here. Wait! Settling it right here comes first. I won't be able to get anything done until we settle this once and for all. I thought you wanted a truce for now. Getting out of here should come first. Once we're out of here, then I'll fight you all you want. Let's hurry up and get it, move on out of here. I don't like you very much. Dang it! I'll get you when we get out of here. Shut up, Bart. I like Bart, but right now he's being a dumb, kind of a twat. This is cave number two. Got the golden knight. Okay. There's one more item to get. I do want it. Oh, here we go. So now we're in cave three. Yeah, walking is so slow in the max, you gotta run. Wait, does Bart Smack walk? Yeah, okay. Wow, game, don't throw the fights at me that much. I knew it was gonna get I, I was wanting to piss it off. I'm like, come on, I want some experience here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ah, wah! Attack Bart. Easy money. Yeah, Bart can level up. Okay, one more chest here. Down here. Dang it, game! Itself. Good job, stupid. Punch! Bart! Are you little?
Yeah! Yeah, we, we definitely need uh, a little money. Hello? What's the current situation here? Sand sensors have detected a normal amount of sand. The sand barrier south of Terra Stones has been sealed to prevent sand from entering the excavation site. What's with this gear? It's well maintained for a gear just left lying around like this. Surrounding the area info. There is a barrier wall in the southeast of Terra Stones that was built to stop the shifting of sand. Until the barrier reopens, please assemble at the shelter located to the east of the barrier wall. We'll head east. Okay. We'll head east. You guys ready for a bunch of exposition? You'd have thought there'd be someone living in a place like this. Let's check it out. So, as of this video, I have uh, finished recording Dragon Quest Heroes, the first one. And I want to be geared up to do part two. I'm just going back to what makes my channel click. That is just doing stuff I like playing. And I like playing the Dragon Quest Heroes games. Let's go ahead and get a save. Well, do a fight and then do a save. God dang Medusoids. I'm sick of these frickin' things. There you go, waste your turn. No, bro, you get the first. Yeah! All freaking level ups. Half tempted to cut this video, just sit here and grind for a bit. Dang it. I hate that when a battle commences over freaking save points, it messes it up. Oops. See, I can't save. Freaking goddamn game. That doesn't make a lick of dang sense. Well, I don't have to save it right now anyway, so... Um, let's go in this hut. Hey, Faye. This is a surprise. There's someone living in this place. Hmm? It's been a while. But I thought I could hear the sound of gears. I assume they are yours. Well, anyway, come on back in here and make yourself at home. Alright, guys, get ready for a lot of story. It's been a long time since my last visitor. What happened? Did you fall from the surface? I guess that's it. I see. That's too bad. I can tell from the sound that you're that you both ride good gears. But her legs seem to be playing up a bit. You mean you can tell what's wrong just by the sound of its footsteps? <laughs> it's easy to know what's wrong with gears by the sounds they make. My guess is that one of them needs a new hydromechanic pipe in its joints. It's making a nasty sound. It must be hard to walk with, too. Oh, by the way, the name's Balthazar. But you can call me Old Man Baal. No, it's not the same Balthazar from Chrono Trigger. <laughs> oh, yeah? So it looks like we've got a real fanatic here, huh? What's an old man like you doing in a place like this? I guess you can call me a fossicker or a collector of things. There is much to be found lying around in this here stalactite cavern. Collector, huh? Sounds interesting. The things on this shelf. Are they some some of the stuff you found? You mean the fossils? 
They're one of the things I collect. Uh, feel free to have a look at them. Around here you can dig up ancient machines along with human and animal fossils. Notice anything peculiar on these shelves? They go from oldest on the left to the newest on the right. Are you an archaeologist or something, old man? I don't quite see what you're talking about. They just look like a bunch of old bones to me. Faye, what do you think? Let me see. First, there are no human bones up to here. Then, from here on over to the right, something is slightly different, I guess. Yes, from a certain point in time, human fossils suddenly no longer appear. That point is roughly 10,000 years ago. What does that mean? Don't ask me. I don't know for sure. But my guess is there were no humans on this planet before then. At least it appears so. How could that be? What is all? What about all that talk about evolution? You mean the theory of evolution is taught by the ethos, right? You can't trust that. Rather, I believe in the old legends and myths. Legends? Myths? Haven't you heard of this story? They say that humans and God live together in a paradise in the sky. With God's protection, there was no fear of death. Natural disasters were entirely unknown. Then one day, the humans ate a forbidden fruit, which gave them incredible wisdom. But God drove mankind from the paradise for their sin. Bitter at having been driven out of paradise, humans used the wisdom they had gained to make giants. With these giants, they planned to challenge God himself. But God poured his wrath down upon them. All who defied God were destroyed, but God himself did not escape unharmed. Taking paradise with him, the wounded God buried himself deep beneath the ocean to sleep for eons. Before going to sleep, God used his remaining power to create right-hearted humans to live on this planet. These people are said to be our ancestors. Well, anyway, I'll stop rambling now. By the way, does this cave have an exit? There is an exit in the excavation site beyond the sand barrier. You can get outside through there. Sand barrier? You mean that huge wall you can see from your entrance? Yes, that's it. On the other side is an old Ava excavation site. They built the wall when Ava was excavating here to keep the sand from falling in from above. But they've stopped work there now. So how do we open such a huge thing like that? If it's a wall, you can probably break it down. Hold your horses there, youngins. No matter how good a gear you have, you'll never break that wall down. It's much too strong, so let's make a deal. A deal? The wall was closed due to the reaction of the sand sensors. Thanks to that, now I can't get through to the other side either. Maybe it happened when you two fell in here. Were you boys fighting up there or something? You seem to be able to tell everything. Anyway, so what can we do about it? It's very simple. You just have to turn off the sand sensor switches. Doing that will keep the barrier from closing again. While you two are doing that, I'll open it up. Right, got it. The sensors are in two places. You should see their flashing red lights. Oh, good luck then. Let's go, Bart. Oh, before you go, I can share some parts and fuel with you. Just talk to me whenever you need something, right? Thanks, old man. Well, we'll go and finish our part of the deal then. Let's talk to him and get this show on the road. Yes. I want... What's about gear functions? A gear's strength changes with the parts equipped and how the pilot handles it. First, let's talk about the engine. With a good engine, your attack power and fuel capacity go up. 
HP depends on the frame and defensibility on the armor equipped. Here's a tip for when your fuel is low. Use charge to replenish it a little as you defend yourself. When you are fighting a strong enemy, use booster to increase your mobility and for in power. If you use booster too much, though, your fuel will run out. So think carefully and try to find your own style of fighting. Yes, I know. We need to do shopping. Shut up. Which do you want? Ah, character use. Let's do that first. He's got Omega Souls. For cheap, too. Uh, I should have some stuff to sell. Eyeball. Scales. And a gold nugget. So what he was talking about with the whole God thing is like a mix of the Garden of Eden story in the Bible and what happened on this planet. It's kind of like a uh, what was left over of what people knew about Christianity going into this. Ugh. It was kind of a mix. Yeah, we need to do our mech stuff. So first thing we're going to do Pots. Ah, here we go. So what I have equipped is a G4 1200, so G6. And we'll put that on. So I have an 1800 uh, frame. We want the 2500 frame because it's more health. And we have an MS3 equipped. We have an MS6. Huzzah. Now we'll fuel her up. It's dirt cheap to do that. Alright. Now for Brigadier. Okay, he's got. We got definitely need that. Heimdall. Does it show us that already? Okay, so yeah, definitely more health. And we put that. And top her off. Yeah, refueling is dirt cheap. Uh, did buy weapons? Nothing. Let's get two of those. Oops. You bit the wrong buttons. Uh, here. Equip. Yeah, we're good. We got, a, we got an extra one. It's fine. Uh, now let's buy some of those Omega Souls because they're dirt cheap. This is probably the last time we'll be able to get something like that for a while. Yeah, yeah. Let's get 20 of these. Sounds good. Let's get four of those, just so we got them. Thanks, old man. Anything here? All right, so all right, we'll run into Bart's new weapon here before long. Do on time. Actually, this is a good place to stop. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to do what's a hair of grinding because we're getting a lot of experience out here, and I want to go ahead and just go ahead and grab up some of it while I can. Uh, and when we come back, we're going to do sensors.
I'll catch you guys next time. Later. <laughs>